Hello. In this five minute video, we're going to look at the simplified algebraic expressions with the denominator. Simplify means to fold into one, basically to make it smaller. Let's look at our first example where we have numbers as the denominator. Here we go. Here's the expression x over 5 plus x over 3. How do we simplify that? Well, the technique for this and all the others is the same. We multiply the denominators together to get the denominator of our answer. 5 times 3, 15. Then we cross multiply to get the numerator. 3 times x is 3x. That plus sign in there. Plus. And then we do 5 times x. Now, because both the terms on the uh, top are x terms, I can combine them, simplify to 8x, so the answer is 8x over 15. Let's look at an example where we have different letters on the top. So, um, we'll go earlier in the alphabet. a over 4 minus b over 3. So let's simplify that. First step, find the denominator. 4 times 3 is 12. Then cross multiply. 3 times a is 3a. And 4 times minus b is minus 4b. Notice the effect that, that minus sign has. That's the, that minus sign has got to be the alarm bell for you. As, you. as soon as you see that in one of the expressions, then you know, hang on, let's be aware. Now, just look at our final answer, 3a minus 4b, on the numerator, uh, as part of the numerator. Well, we can't simplify that any further, so that is our final answer. Now, the next step in difficulty is when, it's not a huge step up in difficulty, we have letters as the denominators. Here, I'll give you an example. 2x, 2 over x minus 8, plus... 3 over y. Well, get the denominator first. x times y is xy. And then we cross multiply. We get 2y. And then x times plus 3 is plus 3x. And that's it. You can't simplify it because we've got y terms and x terms. I mean, strictly speaking, you should, uh, the convention is we put them in. Um, ascending alphabetical order. So you could rewrite that as 3x plus 2y all over xy. Now, here's where we enter into what uh, at present is a star word. It's where we have expressions more than um, a letter plus some other term. Here, I'll, I'll best illustrate this by uh, giving you an example. 5 over x plus 1 plus 3 over x plus 2. Right, to simplify it, here's what we do. Multiply the denominators together. Now I'm going to leave, I'm not going to multiply that out yet. At the end I will have to. And now I cross multiply. x plus 2 times 5. Consistent, that's right in blue. So x plus 2 times 5 is the same as 5 times x plus 2. And then cross multiplying here, we get plus plus 3 times x plus 1. Now I'll multiply out the uh, numerator, we get 5x plus 10. 5 times x plus 2. Now plus 3 times x plus 1 gives me plus 3x plus 3. And now I'll multiply this out. Now if you see my video on quick multiplication of two brackets, here we clearly get x squared. My last term is going to be 1 times 2. 2, so that's the constant term. Now the middle term, to work that out, you add these two numbers here to get the coefficient of the middle term middle term containing x. And now to finish off, all I've got to do is get
gathered together any x's on the top. I've got 5x plus 3x, so it's 8x. And then gather together the numbers. So the final answer is 8x plus 13 over x squared plus 3x. So I've got plus 2 in there. Plus 2. Now, the last one we're going to look at is when we have uh, expressions as the numerators. Example five. And I'm also going to throw in that complicator and minus sign. Here, I'll show you what I mean. 1 all over 7 minus x minus 2 all over 5. So the easy part is the denominator 7 times 5, 35. Now we're lazy in maths. Each of these expressions on the top, because it's got more than one term, should really have a bracket around it. Now, if you remember to write those in, you're less likely to go. And make a mistake. So cross multiplying, I've got 5x plus 1. Now here's the critical one, and I've got 7, or because there's a minus sign there, it's going to be minus 7, open brackets, x minus 2. Expanding the, uh, the brackets here on the top, you get 5x plus 5, and now be very careful, minus 7 times x is minus 7x. And then minus 7 times minus 2 is plus 14. And if you're going to go wrong with these, that will be it. It will be that last uh, symbol here. If you're going to make a mistake, you'll have written that as a minus. And finally, gather together the x's on the top. We've got minus 2x. And gather together, simplifying the numbers. Plus 5 plus 14 is plus 19. So the answer is minus 2x plus 19. Or better still, the convention is we always try and start off with a positive term. So 19 minus 2x over 35. Okay, thank you for listening.